good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. I'd like to show you how to use VLOOKUP, a very popular function in Microsoft Excel in conjunction with the drop-down list. There will be two examples. The first will be a range of staff with their ages and salaries. I want to be able to enter an employee here and see their salary here in this cell. Similarly, uh, for the second example, I want to be able to enter in a product down here using a drop-down list and then using a formula with VLOOKUP see what the sell price needs to be for that day given the markup that I want to add to that particular product. So first of all, let's see how we create the drop-down list. So in this cell, I'm going to click on the Data tab and then go to Data Validation and allow a list. Excel says what's the source of the list? Well there's the source of the list there and when I click OK I now see that I can click the drop arrow and choose from the list. But I want to put a formula in this cell equal VLOOKUP and I want VLOOKUP to look up what's in that cell and then look in the data there and say that the answer is in column 3 for the salary and I use the false argument to get the first exact match. So let's see how it works. So first of all I want to see the salary for Greg Brown and it tells me Greg is on 45000 a year. Correct. Very quick to look up from a drop down list. Let's just test it one more time. What's Sue Green's salary? Sue Green is on 50000 etc etc. So I can always uh, use a drop down list in conjunction with VLOOKUP. Now over here in the second example I have a list of products. Let's say this is for a greengrocer shop. This is what he pays for his uh, produce when he buys it at the market and in this cell we want to see uh, what the markup is and in this cell I've entered a drop down list that I created similarly to the staff but I use these products so that I can choose from the products and then here I have a drop down list available to me in H12 which lets me choose the, the markup. So if I say the markup is 100% then I know that my sell price on the potatoes needs to be $4. If, the, if they were carrots I can click the drop arrow for the carrots and I'd have to sell the carrots at $3 to make 100%. If I was happy with 75% markup I'd sell the carrots at $2.63 or thereabouts. Now the formula here simply said equal VLOOKUP look at what's in G17 the product look in the G6 to H10 area look for the number in the second column in that matrix use the word FALSE because these are not in alphabetical order and we want to stop at the first exact match exact match and then multiply what that answer is by what's in H12 which is the markup divided by 100 to give me an actual figure and to that add what is in H17 now there's nothing in H17 actually there is all I've done, I wanted to hide that, that number there, so I filled the cell here in the Home tab with the colour white. If I filled it with uh, another colour, um, say the uh, uh, colour black, there I would see the white text on a black background, but because it's white text and I wanted to hide it, a little bit of trickery there, I made the cell white. Oops, I made that cell, my apologies, I made that cell white. Now I don't see it, but I know there's, there's information in there. So there we go, that's how I can use VLOOKUP with, um, uh, with the drop-down list. Uh, a little bit of playing about with the formula here. 
uh, but quite simple when you think about the logic so I hope you found this handy uh, if you uh, do let's have a like or a comment and if you're not already a subscriber we would love to have you as a subscriber on the channel thanks for watching see you next time